Coach, what do you hope to learn about your team playing the uh, number one team in the country to start the season? Well, I think we'll learn a lot about ourselves. Um, also, you know, there's a lot that we, we need to know about just what, what are the standards out there. If you've got a team that is uh, as as powerful as what Florida State is, um, they return all the, all their players from the team that was really undefeated last year. Um, you know, that's a that's a high standard. And uh, I think that our players is, have always been good about stepping up to those standards, but you've got to expose them to it. You've got to know what you're trying to beat. You know, we want to play, we want to be able to play Florida State state or those types of teams in December in the College Cup and uh, you know so it's important that I expose our young team to uh, to these types of challenges early on this will prepare us better for the SEC part of the season and of course the SEC prepares us for hopefully the NCAAs so it's a there's a there's a, a process and progress that we're hoping to get out of it you have that interesting mix of pretty young team but pretty experienced team for what y'all did the second half of the season what what is that like for for coaching and, and, and with this squad yeah you know it's very different I think than a lot of teams a lot of teams are going to have these super seniors where the uh, seniors that were seniors last year they got a do-over year because of COVID um, so those teams Arkansas is a good example of that they've got all of the last year's big senior class back um, us we've got all of, a lot of our starters back but they're all freshmen and sophomores so the good thing for us is you know we're kind of playing the long game with this I think immediately we have players who have played in big game situations and they'll be ready for that um, but as we go through time I mean that experience is just going to build and what they do with their peers today and in the next day in this particular season will be you know long-term benefits we think tactically and, and information wise do y'all is it gonna look a lot like it did last year or are y'all gonna be a little more multiple what's what's kind of the look for this season well, for you know, each game's different. Um, you know, we are we've always been a team that has has focused on us, and uh, again, because we've got so many talented players, you know, it'll be a little, it'll look a little bit different than it than we did last year, just because you know you don't have Addie McCain and Jimena Lopez who are both playing in the league right now. You don't have uh, Taylor Zimmer who's playing in Europe right now. So, you know, we've replaced those players with young, really talented, really really good players, um, but they have different uh, strengths and different skill sets so we'll we'll always try to play to the strengths of our personnel how exciting is it for year two of, of Barbara and what she was able to, to do and, and improve on from a really great last season well Barb is special all the way around she's special just in that her personality and you know you just absolutely love the kind of person that she is but uh, she's incredibly intense and competitive on the field so we're seeing you know much greater uh, levels of intensity in training even than we usually see what that we saw last year and that's just part of her maturation and uh, something that's really exciting for us and some new newcomers I think like, one if not both of them got on the board against uh, Baylor uh, what, what, is, what is it from this newcomer class that you're excited about well we, we bring a lot of uh, a lot of pace in in our attack um, you, you've got Natalie Abel who's a very very good your creative force in in the in attack for us uh, I think Makaya McDonald probably you know shocks some people with her pace and what she can do to change the direction and change the speed um, on the on the game against Baylor as she just kind of shredded a lot of people and then you know you've got Mia and you've got Andy who both scored for us uh, both of them are from the uh, Vancouver Whitecaps REX program so it's uh it's exciting to see it's you know it's one of those things where we have we have a lot of a lot of talent and trying to keep everyone on the same page is what we're really working on this week because we know that we're going to be challenged so much in the in the FSU game as well as in the TCU game two two of the toughest road trips that you could possibly take yeah how much of a, a litmus test and and, and how much do we, will you evaluate kind of where y'all are after that kind of challenge well I think it'll t that after this week we'll have a really good idea where we are um, what we have to work on and that's a good thing yeah I think that if we had if we had scheduled a bunch of you know small fries in the uh, in the start of the season you know with a young team we might have built up confidence you know, in falsely but uh, we would have been in for a, a rude awakening when we stepped against a really powerful team like ourselves so um, we're gonna get to know that really fast we, we want to set our standards really high and we'll have a, a really good litmus test after this week cool cool thank